What is good? What is good? Speaky Club Podcast in the building. Your boy Mike Shiz fulfilling another donation album review. And this goes out to my good brother, Doobie Sonics. Shout out to Doobie Sonics. Good, good dude. He did me a solid yesterday that I am absolutely grateful for. I got you, brother. You know I got you on the 30th of this month. December 30th. December 30th, 31st, I think it is. My bad, 31st is when I get loot. Shout out to Doobie Sonics on that solid. Good brother. Shout out to him for donating. Good dude. Very, very cool dude. He's been fucking with my channel for a long time. He's been fucking with the IG page for a long time. Shout out to Doobie Sonics, one of the real ones. He's a friend. He's not a supporter. Well, he's a supporter, but you know what I mean. I don't call y'all fans. Y'all my friends, man. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate it. Very much so. Appreciate Doobie Sonics, man. Great, great dude. Salute to him. A million salutes to Doobie Sonics, man. Good, good dude. Shout out to him. And he requested that we would review Bishop Lamont in his album... Um, the Reformation that came out 2016, I believe. I did my research in 2016. If it was 2017, then someone let me know, but I'm pretty sure. I, I checked on uh, Apple, you know, iTunes, it said 2016. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, how I got, I didn't get into Bishop of Lamont, so I was, I was going to say how I got into Bishop of Lamont. And I never really did. I, I, I knew about Bishop Lamont. Uh, 2008, in the MySpace days, man. And this is when I barely... I had a girlfriend, you know what I mean? I didn't use MySpace in the 2009 when it was almost dying. But it was still popping then, though. It was still popping then, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I got MySpace in 2009. Well, well, no, I had it... Well, I had it, like, in t- 2006 because my girlfriend made it for me. My girlfriend at the time, Natasha, she made it for me. And then, uh, I would go on there, like, in 2008, just, like, very, you know, seldomly, because, you know, I didn't own my own computer then. My ex-girlfriend at the time had a computer, but this time I was dating this bitch Amanda. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm just trying to get to this point. I first hit a bitch with my, around that era, 2008. Around that time, the game dropped LAX, and, uh, fucking, uh, Bishop Lamont was beefing with him then. It's the only time I heard Bishop Lamont when he was beefing with Game in like 2008 when LAX dropped. That's the only time I remember hearing this dude name. And I probably have an album with that nigga featured on it, you know. Who knows? I'm more than likely, more than likely I do. You know what I mean? I just can't remember the nigga to save my life. Like music-wise, you know what I mean? And so Doobie requested this and fuck it, let's do it. The reason why the other fellas ain't doing this with me because, you know, it's holiday season... I don't want to bother them. They have jobs. They have families. And I'm pretty sure Ricardo's the only head that knows this album. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So I figured when someone pays for a review, I want to get to that and fulfill it instantly. You know, I don't want to just procrastinate. And I'm not, I'm not this is my good brothers. I'm not saying they're procrastinating, but I'm saying I'd rather just get to it and then having it just sit there. And I was not do it, you know what I mean? Because these, these motherfuckers pay for this shit. So here we go. Bishop Lamont, the Reformation. Um, You know, people were waiting for this uh, for a long time. And he finally dropped it in 2016. We get the intro of Then You Die featuring Mott. Dope intro. Bishop Lamont finishes um, his album, calls his homie and says he's going to get something to eat. With his girl at like Denny's or something. But ends up getting into a car accident after a phone call with his mother. Then he starts rapping on the intro talking about different ways to die. Thought that was dope. Found a way out. Featuring Love Finesse and Liz Rodriguez. Love Finesse just talks though. Bishop rides the beat well. Talking about introspective shit. You know the beat is banging. You can definitely do without the singing though. I, I don't like the singing. I'll be keeping a buck. <laughs> Next, we get The Heretic, featuring, I think, Empress uh, Selassie. I can't pronounce that shit. Some shit like that. Banging beat. 
Fish is spitting real lyrical balls on this track. Also, he questions belief in God and goes at gaze on here. This is a SG, SGW's worst nightmare, man, right there. But that shit was dope, man. I fuck with it. Then we get the realest shit featuring Buki Loke and Raz Cash. Really dope track. Bishop talks about how fake the game has become. Used to kill a snitch. Now they snitch and kill. You ain't hard as my mama. My, my mama is. Just sure like that. That shit was dope. Raz Cash, uh, killed it too, man. Great track. Then we get Shoot 'em Up featuring, uh, Prius Gang or some shit. This is a super banger. Bishop Lamont kills it lyrically too. Real grimy shit. Love it. That's a good track. Then we get Crazy featuring Stack Quo. Haven't heard of that name in a long time, but Stack, Stack Quo kills it. He makes it like, um, he makes a reference to Warriors. He's like, when Fox got ran over that train, you know, when the Warrior um, character Fox got hit by the train and shit when they were fighting the cops. That's a dope line. And Bishop Lamont came correct. He said, see this pistol I keep it in my lap like a puppy. That shit was dope, man. I thought that was dope. Then we get Life or Death featuring RBX and Exhibit. Incredible beat. Bishop Lamont spits about death on his verse. While Exhibit spits a vicious verse as well. I love it. RBX is a dope verse too. Dope track. Man, one of my favorites on here. Then we got Lord in Heaven featuring Kobe Killer. Um, Bishop Lamont talks about killing enemies. Even a pregnant woman. That shit was dope. I don't condone that, but the way he just said that shit was though. Dope track. But was just not a fan of the singing yet again. The singing killed it for me, man. It's just, oof. Then we get the Razor Blade featuring Cocaine and Warren G. That good old West Coast feel track. Cocaine is great on the chorus. Warren G has a real smooth, dope verse. Really dope uh, track. I love that song. It's a really good song. Probably my favorite song on the whole fucking album. It is. My favorite song on the whole album, Razor Blade, definitely is. Then we get, uh, here we go again, featuring Kennedy and Willie, uh, Dollar Sign, I think it is. No, my, my bad, Willie B, Willie B, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm chicken scratch handwriting, y'all, my bad. Um, to be honest, not feeling the track at all, just real bad. It honestly reminds me of some Flow Rider shit. The beat was terrible too, man. It sounds some fucking flow rider shit, my dude. I didn't like it at all, man. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I think that's too commercial sounding bullshit for me. Then we get Are You Ready featuring Focus, Rapper Poo, you know, Big Brother fame. I mean, Little Brother fame. Basically about not taking things for granted. Rapper Poo has a dope verse. Go, go, yes, feature. I love it. It's, it's, it's all right. Never poop, you know, still to show, in my opinion. Lost featuring, uh, Sinano White. I guess, uh, Sinan O'Connor, you know, it's like, it's spelled like Sinan O'Connor. Like, her name's Sinano, I guess it's Sinano White. I don't know. I never heard of that one before, but Mr. Lamont sounds like he's trying to be Eminem, like his best Eminem impression on here. I don't like it at all, man. I just don't like it. And the bitch sounds like, like a knockoff Scarlet Grey. It is garbage. Garbage. I don't like that whatsoever. This album takes a turn for the worst during the end of it almost, like the middle to the end. Then you get Dream Big by Sinatra White. Uh, banging beat. Love the beat, but still cringy, terrible singing on here. And Bishop Rhymes about good. I mean, uh, Bishop Rhymes good, but this did nothing for me at all. It was a great um, beat, but other than that, it's just nothing for me. Uh, then we get the F word featuring D Brown, Mike Anthony, and uh, Dave and Y, I think it is. Bishop rapping about faith. You know, it's just an okay track. Not fully feeling that either, man. <laughs> Be honest, and I listen, man, deeply. I just, I just can't do nothing for me. Then we get Speak to Me. Too gospel sounding for me, man. Did nothing for me. Uh, only line I like when he said, Bishop said, stop giving up million cities, hypocrites. Why they all bowling, but they, they, uh, they hood ain't rich. 
That shit was dope. I'll give him that. But other than that, whew, not too good. Um, it's kind. Of, it was a fucking gospel song, man. It really was. It was not that good at all. Like some Kirk Franklin shit or something. I didn't like it at all, man. Then we get Devil in My Way featuring Lauren Panani and Daniel. Daniel some shit. I, I didn't even write that shit down. It was another gospel track. It sounds like I wasn't feeling it at all. Just didn't like it whatsoever. It was trash. Then we get Phoenix featuring Sean Morgan. Uh, I like when Bishop said Homeland Security. Don't feel too damn secure to me. That shit was dope. The singer on here is so trash though. I hate the chorus. Don't like the track at all. Then we finally get a breath of fresh air. Or un Americans. Or un American, my bad. Featuring Ryu and Apathy. Ryu's from Styles of, Styles of Beyond. I mean, Ryu's also from, you know, um, Demigods and shit. Apathy, you know, he's from Demigods. I mean, the Pharaohs. Great solo career. Um, Ryu killed it, though. With a dope political verse. So does Bishop Lamont. Very dope track and a, and a breath of fresh air. I like when Ryu says, I guess anything is possible if Bruce Jenner can turn himself into Roger Rabbit. That's, I mean, to Jessica Rabbit. That shit was dope as hell. I guess anything is possible if Bruce Jenner can turn himself into Jessica Rabbit. That was a dope line, man. Shout out to Ryu. Ryu's overlooked. Um, then we get the outro. Just a continuation of the intro. He gets in a car accident. They fucking... The ambulance comes. They lift him, put him on the fucking stretcher and shit. Um, my overall thoughts on this album is... The first half... Um, good. A lot of solid shit on there. The song Razor Blade I fucking love. That's a great song. Other than that, it's not that good, man. I'll be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of this album. And Doobie, I'm sorry, brother. I wish I could give a, a, a fucking five out of five to this. But I gotta give it a fucking 3.5, man. Yeah. 3.5. I was thinking about a four, but I was like, you know what? Nah, because the ending is just oof, a lot of shitty songs on there, man. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't feeling that gospel shit, the overly preachy shit. It just did nothing for me. But hey, man, I'm down to do anything for you people, man. Shout out to Doobie Sonics. It means the world to me for your help and support. I am real sorry I didn't like the album more, but hey, I'm just keeping it real. I don't pretend. Because I'm getting paid. I'm going to pretend like I don't know. I'm going to keep it real. And I'm, I'm sorry, brother. I just couldn't get into this album the way I wanted to. The way I fully could get into it. But that's what it is. Speak Club Podcast signing off. I got one more request to do. As far as loot goes. Like before I paint it. And then after that... Uh, me and my boys got some ideas. I don't know what we're going to do, but that's the hero there. Shout out to Doobie Sonics. You mean, you're, you fucking, you're, you're dope as shit, brother. See you niggas on the flip side. Peace.